is he understood that you know that that there's more going on concerning the negative that is around him he understand that logic that there was more you know what i'm saying yeah there's negative people or negative influence is so he's surrounded by but he understood there's more that he need to find out about life and he was willing to uh want to find out more you know what i'm saying he he didn't say well oh you know you 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 think you know everything you you think you uh better than me you think you smarter than me you know how most people are unfortunately be like oh you think you uh know more wisdom than i do they you know people busy comparing themselves to other people but in true supposed to be in true honest sincereness we supposed to say you know okay i'm surrounded by negativity where is the positivity you know what i'm saying i'm surrounded by you know people that are doing foolishness where is the wisdom you know uh it's supposed to be the genuine response of anybody anybody whether you a sinner and whether you are out there in the world it's supposed to be yeah i know foolishness is going on right here but where is the wisdom you know what i'm saying where is the wisdom and people have a genuine right to uh think like that you have a genuine right i mean it doesn't matter really i mean yes bible says all sin and fall short in the glory of god including sinners and including Christians. But the thing is, uh, sinners, y'all have a right to question of the ideal. Yes, a lot of foolishness is going on right here, but where is the wisdom? Where's the wisdom at? You have a right to think this way. You know what I'm saying? And you have a right to question, to find out wisdom that I love the sincereness of this young man that I was conversating with at the river walk uh, near the skate park. And I, I wish I got his name. Um, uh, we had a conversation, but I want to talk about the ideal of, you know, the thing is me, I have a desire. I develop, let me get this right. God gave developed me a desire to want to find out what is right or find out his righteousness pretty much um the thing is i was a sinner you know matt i i wanted the world i wanted the lustful pleasures of this world matt johnson definitely wanted the lustful pleasures of this world you know what i'm saying and the thing is, I wanted it bad just like you did. But when it came to a uh, God that, you know, um, selected me, not I selected him, but he selected me to question something, you know, question to find out something and see something, question to find out to see something concerning the Yes, if I sin and do this, guess what, Mac? Here is the results of this. If I do what's righteous and do what's, you know, uh, of the righteousness of God, Mac, here is the results of this. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, um, uh, I'm here talking to you right now uh teaching you right now like i did on most videos i would never imagine never ever 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 imagine me right now on this ipad doing these videos talking to you about trying to live right unto god i will never imagine this me out there in the world in a million years you know and the thing is I, I I always look back at me. I'm like, whoa, Mac, 
what what are you doing here? You know, what are you doing here? Explain, trying to explain the logic of the truth of the God's word concerning his divine results. What are you doing here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ask myself that because I'm like, man, I wanted to get out there and go swim in that uh, uh, world system and get caught up in wh who knows what. You know what I'm saying? I wanted that. I wanted to experience the world system concerning all the sinful pleasures that it had out there. But you know, the, the divine God pulled me out and say, Mac, you know, I want you, I, I don't want you to see so much of the sinful pleasures of the world by experiencing being with this person and that person. I want you to sit back and look at this person, and that person, and behold the results of these outcomes that come out of doing this. And I sat back and looked at it. And the thing is, God got real with me about the outcomes that are happening to, unfortunately, billions and billions and billions of people that are ending up in the result of terrible, horrible uh, results concerning their life, whether it's taking their life or it's positioning their life that a life of hurt, pain, and misery and disappointment. A lot of people are facing right now because of this res these fleshly results of this world system that are painting these fantasies to your imagination to put out the good looking, you know, version of sin, say, hey, uh, be with this, guys, be with this sexy, fine female. Ladies, be with this sexy, fine guy. Here's the enjoyment. Here's the pleasure. Here's the drink this, smoke this. Here's the joy. Here's the pleasure. You know what I'm saying? This system just going through it and running through it with every television, with every radio, with every video you see, with every song that, you know, soothe and sounds good to your ears, you know, showing forth these, you know, uh, scenarios, but that result, ah, they're not going to show that part. They're not going to show the parts of the fleshly results to you. This world system wants to just keep the uh, fantasy going, you know. And the thing is, um, unfortunately, everybody's, uh, to, I mean, not everybody, sorry, majority are caught up in this fantasy that, you know, uh, you can sin and sin will produce a great result, you know. Sin will produce more great results, says your world system. And of course, you buying in, aka believing into this lie. And so many people are led to their demise. And I sat, I sit back and look at this, knowing that I definitely, Mac Johnson. I will be caught up with, I would have been caught up in that. I mean, don't think one bit of Mac Johnson sitting up here giving you this wisdom about the word of God was like, oh, Mac, you know, he was like, oh, he wanted wisdom of, of the God to be reigning in his life. No, sir, Reed, Mac Johnson wanted the taste of the foolishness. You know what I'm saying? I wanted the taste of the foolishness just like you. And I want to get out there and swim and in that, you know, the cesspool of the world system and then one care less. Mac wanted that. But the thing is, I was blessed that a God, a creator, pulled me to the side and showed me the reality of the knowledge of the truth of the results of the divine uh, nature of God and the results of the fleshly nature of God.
I was blessed with this, that I right now doing this video right now before you blessed to become a blessing to you to show forth this wisdom to you concerning about the results that this world system does not want you to see. You know what I'm saying? That the terrible, horrific, bad outcomes of people's lives right now are living in hurt and pain and misery. And the sad part about this, that they're taking more victims with them concerning their negative examples that they're showing forth to the younger generation. The younger generation says it's okay to get out there and participate in this sin or fleshly nature. And they say that it's okay and hurt and pain and misery. Oh, I'm not going to experience that. I'm just going to enjoy the pattern of this fleshly nature and nothing's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's what they're getting from the performance of people that are practicing this, you know, fleshly nature. And the, the future suffers. And it's sad when I heard this young man, you know, and in the genuineness of his young man at the uh, skate park. And he's like, look, I want, I, you know, I, I, I was caught up in this sinful nature. I, I'm, I'm, I'm caught up with these associates that he's hanging around with. And I just want to question and know what's going on. I know something's wrong with this world. I know wrong is going on. I know I, I, he knew... I, I, I'm, I'm cussing. I, I know something's wrong with my heart, but I genuinely want to find out what is way beyond me concerning what true, what truth is. He was in that kind of flow with me. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what, find out what is right. What is the right application of how I'm supposed to find out what's right in, in life? I just want to find out. Maybe he may not perform what's right. Maybe he might want to not, you know, do what's right. But he wanted to know what was right. You know what I'm saying? Concerning life. And maybe he might choose it. Maybe he might want. But the thing is, the, the, the guy, he was genuinely wanting to know the results of if I choose this fleshly nature. This will be the result. If I choose this divine choice, this will be the result. He was that in that genuine uh, mindset concerning the conversation I had with him. And I'm just shaking my head with inside myself and saying, how many people, how many young people, how many people in general are right, got this guy's condition? You know what I'm saying? That just look, I know that all this nonsense going on is nonsense, but what is truth? What is right? What is wisdom? What is what I'm so, if I want my life to go right, where is it? You know what I'm saying? And I know there's people on my Facebook want to know what, what I know I'm out here, but what's going on? What, what do I need to know if, if I truly genuinely want to know what is the right direction? What it looks like? What? How is it? And what do I have to do to be a part of something that is going to give me the divine right results of my life? You know what I'm saying? It's what he wanted to know. And this is what you know inspired me to do this live video. This conversation with this young man. I wish I got his name. But the thing is, look, guys, uh, which results do you want? You want fleshly results? Do you want divine results? I'm not asking you to, oh, I'm going to like want divine results. I'm going to go live right. I'm going to just go live right and try to get divine. No, I'm asking you sincerely and asking you to ask yourself sincerely. What do you truly desire in your life to truly want to help better your life? Do you want to continue to be deceived by the fleshly results or do you want the true deliverance to operate in the divine results? It's what this video is all about. And I hope you understand and ask yourself that question to truly get a genuine answer with inside yourself based upon the honesty that you have in your heart that I hope you get. All right, that's the message. 
I hope you got it. To God be the glory, him forever and ever, in Jesus' name, amen.